started the brand in late 2012 and I just kind of felt like there wasn't a brand that I really could buy that reflected what I wanted. I grew up super into kind of punk art and I just felt like there wasn't a luxury brand that was representing that. Almost like what I wanted there to be was like a punk Hermes. Especially with like Enfant Riche is such a statement, but I put the Depri Men because I feel like there's a certain sense of sorrow and loneliness involved with that. I grew up going to boarding school. I went to boarding school in Switzerland and abroad. And the line is kind of a pastiche of my experiences with that. It's almost a little bit of a clash between punk and the bourgeoisie. In the 2000s or when I was in school, the two couldn't mix. Punk was considered very blue collar, um, but I, I didn't grow up like that. So th for me, it was kind of just like a meshing of my worlds. And I don't know, the line is kind of like uh, a, a look inside my head and kind of how I feel. And a lot of it's my art as well. So I went to art school. I never went to fashion school. So all the jackets I paint myself or I have other people paint. All the shirts are hand distressed. We spend more time destroying them. I'm almost selling nostalgia. But a lot of my influences also go from contemporary art to painters, to Kooning, uh, De Buffet, and that forth, because I'm, I'm trained as an artist, Duchamp. I mean, the clothes is really aggressive, and I feel that way inside, as far as I've always felt anti-establishment, anti the teachers, anti what I was told to do. And it's a little weird to me now that I'm doing everything I was told not to do, that I'm succeeding, and everything they were telling me to do wasn't working for me.